Good morning, y'all. Thanks for joining me. Um, the, to, I'm going to make today's huddle session real quick. This is all about um, things that we try and do around here to help make y'all's lives easier, especially when you're trying to write a contract, right? So who all saw Rip's post about me? Lovely. Did anybody on Workplace? Yeah. I appreciate it. Rip, Rip, Rip gave me a lovely post about a special step that I wrote. Um, so I just want to kind of show y'all a few things and then also say that um, when you're writing special steps, if it's not in Docs Plus already and you're trying to write something, call the broker hotline. All right, That's my big tip for the day. Let us write it for you. Let us take care of it. Don't want you writing something that's so vague that it's not enforceable, which happens a lot. Okay? Um, so first off, uh, we'll start here in uh, one of my transactions. This is my training transaction. I just deleted all the forms out of there. Just want to kind of give you all a heads up. Um, we create packages for you, right? So we have this SREO01, the Century 21 Connect Realty packages. And if you expand it out, you'll be able to see a whole bunch of different packages here that are pre-done for you. They're ready to go. So all you have to do instead of going in and clicking and typing purchase and sale, checking the box, conventional financing, checking the box, lead-based paint, check, and doing all of that, you can just come here straight to packages. It's right up there, right? And scroll down. You have purchase and sale agreements, cash, conventional, FHA, VA, USDA. Right? So you just click on that. You can check this box, that'll bring in all of the forms, including additional signature pages. We just have anything that you would need to write that offer there as far as forms. You can uncheck them if you don't want them, but you don't have to go and hunt and search, right? So it saves you a couple minutes is all, but when you're in a pinch trying to write an offer, it can be helpful. You also don't have to stop and think of which forms you might need. You can always put them all in there and then delete them out if you don't need them later. All right, so we will um, go next, and we'll do this conventional one here real quick. So just keep that in mind. Packages. You have the packages. Use them. If you have a package that you want, that you're like, hey, this would be awesome if we had this in a, in a package of itself, send help an email, right? We'll look into getting it created, get it put up there for everyone to use. So it's not just for you, it's for everyone. So these are universal, across the board. But you can also create it just for you to use. Yes. Anybody want me to show them that? Anybody have any interest in just having your own package? I can definitely do that as well, um, since we're in here. Um, go to Package Library, and you have My Packages, right? And then you can, right here, create a package. So once you create a package, you can go in there, you can name it, you can put all the documents that you want in there that are specialized to you and whatever you may be doing. Um, say you're working for an investor who does a lot of purchasing, who you know is going to buy five or six deals a year or a month, or a month would be excellent, right? But five or six deals a year, you can create a package where you have all of their information put in there. And they always want to use this attorney, and they always want to do this specific thing. You can create packages for that. So. It doesn't make much sense to do it if it's just a person buying a home because you're going to spend more time creating the package than you would have just grabbed one of our packages and done it, okay. but just in that scenario. Go ahead, Mr. But with that said, I, I have packages that I have like purchase and sale, and it has like my name, like a lot of the stuff where it's printed out, and same with listing agreements. Cause like, when you pull the package from the company level and put it into your account, it should load all of your information in there. It populates all of your information in there. You remember, when you're creating the transaction, you choose buy side, sell side, both, right? So if you choose both, it's going to put your information on both sides. If buy side, buy well, side, well, sell I'm side, sell side. Like, for me, like Ernest Money is all of Century 21. Luda Larkin has all my green clay like, closing costs. So I already put those in the package, and then when I go in, it's already like done for me. So, like, yeah. Yep. Yeah. So you can definitely do that as well. Can Mr. Lanier? Like an investor or somebody, can you have like their hard money letter or proof of funds or something? Yes, always. Um, same thing as when you upload a form, you can upload that proof of funds into their, or hard money letter into their package. Just keep in mind, you should keep that within 30 days is kind of the rule of thumb, if you will. Um, some listing agents don't even look at it and go, oh, you gave me proof of funds, even though it's 60, 90 days old. Doesn't necessarily mean much, right? So that's packages, right? 
Um, let's jump back to transactions here, back into my training guy. Uh, purchase and sale agreement here. Just wanted to um, get you all on special steps. Let me not do it that way since I'm using the touchpad. Um, creating new versus adding. Add the clause. Let me scroll a little here. And search. So when you're doing this, just search for whatever you're looking for. What might you need? Appraisal gap isn't really a big thing anymore, I don't think, is it? Anybody writing appraisal gaps? Didn't think so. It's amazing how like two months ago, everybody was like, $20,000 over list price, right? <laughs> we'll give you a 20000 over and say we're guaranteeing it. So, um, but just search keywords. I wouldn't try and get too specific in there. And this is where I get into, if you can't find what you're looking for, like you can click preview on it and be able to read it, you know, and then add if that one's right or click back to clauses and it'll take you back to what you last searched. So it's real easy to search for and just hit keywords in there for whatever it is that you're looking for, all right? Um, if you don't find it in here, can't find it in here, don't just start going and making up your own stuff, right? So um, one of the big things with RIPs is uh, when you start changing earnest money to, um, into, what did he do? Non-refundable non non option money. There's certain language in there that has to be written in there as well with it. So um, a lot of times you have to have language in there that it's not a penalty to the seller because if it could be construed as a penalty to them, a judge would turn around and say, no, this person gets it. Or the other broker, the holder would say, no, you can't do that because of this. All right? Make sense? So that's all I got for you today. You guys got any questions on that? No more questions? No more questions? None at all? None at all? Use packages. Use the special steps that are written in there. Uh, we have ones that we've written in there. If you have a special step that you'd like to see in there, um, just, uh, just let us know. Email help desk. We're here to, we're here to make y'all's lives as easy as possible, right? I think the last time I checked, there were only over 250 plus pre-written special steps yep. on every conceivable topic you can imagine. So if you have an issue and it deals with termites, go in there, um, type in the word termite, you're probably going to find what it is that you need. If you I mean, look, you get pretty close. There you go. There's that many termites yeah. in there. So anything you can come up with. Seller agrees to treat and repair termite damage to just providing a simple letter. So, make sense? Yeah. All right, let's get them.